Hello and welcome to Camera Reviews. Masculinity in India by Jason Taylor. I like to show things when I find them. And I think some things are really worth showing. Anything by Jason Taylor is worth showing. Sadly, that's all I have by Jason Taylor. Jason Taylor is what is I don't even know if saying he's an environmental photographer is the right category to come to comment or, or, to, or to make on his work. Jason's lived in Asia for the last 15 years. He's worked in England for the likes of The Guardian to um, the body shop and amongst tons and tons of other clients. And then he based himself in India to work on a wide wa range of um, commissions and projects ranging from what I have here which is masculinity in India I've got this um, this uh, this is a flyer for um, the Nas gallery which is in the is Spitz gallery and this was a project I did on the truck drivers in India where uh, to do with prostitution and, and, and stuff like that and it was a big sort of prostit big culture of prostitution within the um, the, the truck driver, not the taxi driver, the truck drivers, um, the truck driver community in India. That's the brief of it, but I'm sure there's a lot. It's a lot more complex. Anyway, I had this tucked in here on my shelf, and um, I thought it's worth a look. So, Jason is a multimedia artist. He shoots stills. He shoots film. I think now he shoots even drones. He's back based in the UK. He's covering a lot of farming, a lot of agricultural um, projects, a lot of sustainable um, food and um, do, do, do jumping into issues like seed uh, development, if that's the right word. He's, he's jumping into a lot of projects in the UK from uh, agriculture. Um, he's covering a wide range of um, projects in the UK based around agriculture and farming. He is available um, at the Source Project, and I will put a link to his website. And I think he's part of the Cargo Collective. In both them sites, you will see his work, you will see his films. He does. You'll get an idea of what you what he's about. And then to this project, which is about masculinity in India. It's a multimedia project. Um, it's a tiny little thing. It's like a DV, it's like a CD. Um, and there's a CD in there, no picture. Um, I'm not sure if you can get this, but I'm sure that um, if you contact Jason, you might be able to get a hold of one. So it's Uniting the World of AIDS, UN AIDS, and that Jason, I presume, was commissioned to do this um, and his work in India. Masculinity in India, Conception, Photography and Development by Jason Taylor for UN AIDS. Now that jasontaylor.net may be still around, I'm not really sure if it is. Normad at isyahoo.com. You can try them. I will put new links for the source project, which he's now part of, and now it's his baby with his partner. So let's have a quick look. So long. Right. So there's a bit about Jason, his narrative structure and his work, masculinity unscripted. Uh, several men presented in this work are poor white, others are amassed some wealth, so there's a sort of contrast in the in the subject matter. Sexual initiation, several of the men whose lives are shown and reported have suffered in this incessant emotional sexual abuse from those who were all too willing to accept. Okay, taunted and ridiculed by family and friends. Okay, so we're covering, this is a, a project on the effect of a man's masculinity and how um, and their, their sexual orientation, how it's affected them in different ways and from different backgrounds of life. To a bit more about um, Jason and here, these personal narratives show the lives of men unscripted and unapologetic. Taylor's work provides a safe place for the subjects to, pre to rep represent themselves as they would have society see them. Yep, in involved in the pursuit of happiness. Okay, let's have a look. This is Bobby. Okay, so I'm getting the transition here from from fam what looks like a family life to um, his, um, his, his, his um, other sexual identity as a woman. I'm not going to go too far into it because I actually, 
don't really know to be honest I think uh, if you mind, this is Wan this comes from a small village um, just his personal strife with his sexuality must be quite must be really difficult that was um, Rajashi Rajashi must be very difficult living in such a um, part of the world to be able not to express and be able to and also be sort of hurt for expressing your sexuality I've been and worked in Bangladesh um, in Dakar and I've worked with a lot of I had a brief time I've worked around a lot of tri um, prostitutes and um, I don't know what the word transvestites if that's the word maybe transgenders I'm not sure and they were I was only allowed to photograph them away from everybody and the way I, I couldn't go to their place and, and photograph them although they were really open for me to photograph them so it's really interesting and I, I look back now and maybe I should have perceived some of that work a little bit um, further and this is Sonu uh, times times are hard and money was all, it's always been scarce Sonu's new found income supports his whole family his mother's only interest in the son's happening and safety so I guess he's prostitution Colson it's interesting this because we're, we're, they're, they're living in a society who I presume are against people having other sexual orientation like being gay yet they can make a living by selling their sex selling their bodies for sex to probably people who oppose it in general day to day life it's, it's quite ironic isn't it Coulson as everything a man should be in our society, strong, good looking, intelligent, and smart. He loves his girlfriend, saving money for their marriage, etc. A couple of religious minimum. Full sexual desire, have to deny their natural, powerful instincts. Okay, about his promis promiscuity, or what is it? Okay, it's just about him being promiscuous. Interesting. And the end. That looks like um, one of his truck driver shots, which goes with this. It might be wrong, I might be wrong. So, it's a nice little insight. It's not a surprising book from Jason. I'll put the Source Project link in the bar down below, and you will be able to go and source Jason's work out. Go and find his work, commission him, get him on your, get him on your projects. He's a great guy and um, thank you, thank you Jason.